You go to the gym on the first, right. and it's right. packed. Right. Can't find a parking place. Right. By now, no big deal. Yeah. You know? They're all over the place now. Yeah. What's the key to keeping that motivation? You're in great shape. You're ripped. I do what I do. You do. You're yeah. like, you, to me, you're like the black <laughs> Ryan Gosling. I am. You I, are. I can go with that. You, you, you want a t-shirt that says that? I am the black Ryan Gosling. I can go with that. I have been photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. What is the secret to your I mean, what have you found that really works that is different than, say, the, the boilerplate personal trainer out there? Fifty Shades of Grey was such a big hit. You know, why not make it uh, stage worthy, right? Put it on the stage. Like a play? On like a musical. Oh, a musical? A musical. Spank me, spank me, ouch, ouch, ouch. Girl part. I like the furry Harrian. Okay. Okay. I like the metal ones because they're so rough. <laughs> Come on. Huh? Oh my hey, god. If we had an audience right now, I would have a standing ovation. <laughs> You see the kid in the car commercial that was dressed up like Darth Vader? Well, he is unmasked and he got to meet the real Darth Vader. I cannot wait to show you the video. Take a wild guess where we are. Go ahead, go ahead. No. No. Close. Warmer. War ah, one of you got it. For the rest of you, come here. Let me show you something. <laughs> First straight jacket. This is the very first straight jacket I ever owned. And it is you or you swear. There's no way I can escape from this thing. There's no way out. Outside of dislocating your shoulder, I'm gonna talk you through it as I do mine. Tie me up, baby. Alright. Oh. Georgie Porgy is a guy who is very bashful and so shy. The ladies prize him. They idolize him. You can find him most anywhere in the great big cozy Morris chair. I've been looking at the ceiling while some girly is appealing. Pleasure to work with. Is this even my chair? Always prepared. Somebody give me my chair. Professional. Who writes this? E even tempered. We'll do it live. A genuinely, genuinely good, good person. We'll do it live. Mike McNeil, the nicest guy in news. Seriously? Hey, you know, every year at the uh, big game. Yes. We're not allowed to call it super blank. You're right. I'm going to call it the super mug. The super mug. Well, it's just another dish. <laughs> okay. It's not a bowl, it's okay. a dish. Okay. Uh, at the super mug, uh, every year the Dorito says, hey, make your own commercial, and yes. then the winner gets their spot on during the, this, during the, the, the super mug. Mm -hmm. And so they put out their five finalists, and I picked out the one that I think's the funniest. And I'm Mike Wilson, hope you're doing well and managing to stay healthy despite the fact that it seems like everyone we talk to either has the flu or knows somebody that's had the flu. Or had the flu, uh, yes. Had it. yes. Especially the week of Christmas, it seems like it just I talked hit to several hard. people, they said the week of Christmas, the whole entire time that they were on break, they were sick. Yeah, so what, AJ, uh, AJ Richards that was on the show the other day just got over it herself. She, yes. She went to New York City and was the whole time she well, was sick Well, Scott was just telling us, went through his family. It's Kids just, had yeah. it like two, three days and then Mom, two weeks. Boston, the city of Boston has actually declared it kind of a health state of emergency because mm -hmm. people are dying at this left and right. People, they, they, in fact, it was on the nightly news last night with, with Brywy that, um, that they are actually using the waiting rooms. As people are actual, sleeping in the waiting yes. rooms because they, they're out of rooms. They're they out don't of know room. what to do with people. Mm -hmm. And of course, you need to quarantine them to some extent. You end up with a tent. Right. But here's the thing. Do you have a cold? Or do you have the flu? Yes. Do I'll you know the difference? Uh, 60 Minutes and Vanity Fair did a survey about what drives you crazy. Right. Like as married people. Mm -hmm. The survey showed that 7%, only 7% said that these are people living together. Right, not married. necessarily married. Not it's necessarily just cohabitating. Cohabitating. 7% right. said it was sharing a bed. I don't mind sharing a bed. I got a king size bed and we're both small, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. 13% said sharing a bathroom, and you will not share a bathroom no. with Paul. No. No. See, we don't have. See, we're, we are, we live in an older house. Well, so we do. So too. our bathrooms are teeny tiny. So, 
I need at least a double sink with Paul. Double sinks will save your marriage. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now. Sixteen percent said household chores. Sixteen percent household chores. This is what they fight over. Oh yeah. Is the household mm -hmm. chores the most common complaint? The thing that people fight over. I, this shocked me. Thirty percent, thirty-six percent of the battles in a marriage or, or cohabitation is over the remote. What to watch on TV? That's so true. Half the time, I'm upstairs and my husband's downstairs watching football on the big screen TV. In October, for four months out of the year. Well, there's worse things he can well, do. Five, watch, so. September through through January. It's we are in separate rooms. He's a big Nebraska fan, right? And he's so a they, big college football fan, and he loves football in general. It doesn't matter really but, what, what's on. You know, he didn't pull that on you like two weeks after you got married. No, I knew you, this going in. You married in. into it.